today's video, I will be giving you the top five grossest kids party games available on Amazon that you can buy today if you want. Hi, my name is Sean. Welcome. If you are new, I would love for you to consider subscribing to this channel. I post new content every week, but let's get into the top five most disgusting kids party games available on Amazon. Here we go. All right, the first one is called Don't Step on the Poop. <laughs> That's right, you heard me. If you were bored from stepping in your own animal's feces, your own dog's poo in the middle of the night with your bare foot or your cat's puke, there's a game called Don't Step on the Poop. There's also a DIY version of this involving Play-Doh, which I will link that I've seen on Pinterest down below, but this one's called Don't Step on the Poop. Mm, let me move my computer over here. All right, so this is a Hasbro game. This is blindfolded, poop dodging fun. Mold the included compound to look like piles of poop. Step in the fewest poops to win. Play with friends or dodge the poop solo. Evidently, you can play this game by yourself. Just in case you were just wondering what to do around the house, had nothing else to do, thought, hey, I would love to play a game of step in poo. I'm pretty sure that's called, I have a senior dog who poops on the floor and I step in it by accident. Not speaking from experience or anything. While we were talking about poop games, okay, this wasn't even in my top five, okay? But if you continue scrolling, there's a unicorn edition. Yes, a unicorn edition. Although stepping in unicorn poop, if it's pretty, that sounds a little <laughs> more interesting and pleasant to me than actual brown poo. There's also Flush and Frenzy game, Pop the Poop, Toilet included, Identity Games Poopy Head Card Game, Goliath New and Improved Doggy Doo Game. Those are the poop games. The next game, I'm already grossed out thinking about it, is called Dr. Pimple Pooper. No, no, I got that wrong. Dr. Pimple Popper. It's a pimple popping game. <laughs> you guys, what is happening? What is happening that we have to have a pimple popping game? Mm. I saw this in Walmart the other day when I was taking my toddler and we were looking at games and I thought, what is this society coming to when we have to have a pimple popping game? Exploding Megazit. First, load all the squishy pimples into Pimple Pete's face. Then fill the Megazit plunger with water. I'm assuming this is for like kids who are looking forward to puberty. Have nothing better to look forward to in your life than to when they get to be a teenager and have this order and then the alias of their teenage friends who are popping music. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, right? Like somebody thought, oh man, those preteens and those older kids, they're so envious of teenagers and those um, older adults, like myself, so envious of the um, zit phase. <laughs> no, thank you. Nope, I will not be playing this game. How about you? Will you be playing the pimple popping game? The next game is called What's in Ned's Head. And in all fairness, I have played this game, but it was many years ago when I was a children's ministry director at a church and a kid brought this to family game night and I was grossed out by it then, having to shove my hand up into a plush Ned head and pulling out nasty things out of Ned's nose because Ned's head can only be accessed through his ears and his nose and nasty stuff comes out. So you get stuff like dead rats and worms, spiders and boogers and eyeballs that come out of the head and actually kids do really enjoy this game. I've seen it with my own eyes that kids really do enjoy this game, but I for one, I will not be owning this game. Alright, the next game is called Toilet Trouble. Again, this is a Hasbro game. Hasbro, what's going on? You got the preteen market cornered, evidently. And, you know, just in case you've ever been in a public restroom, you have flushed the toilet and the water has accidentally splashed up on you, and you really enjoyed that. You know, you love the sensation of nasty toilet water splashing up in you in the bathroom. This is the game for you. Yes. Yes, it is. Or if you were ever as a child, on your face. What is going on? Flush, but watch out for random sprays of water. Funny toilet flushing sound effect. But to avoid injury, it says, use only clean tap water. So don't actually go and get nasty toilet water and stick it in your game. Do preteen kids enjoy getting splashed by toilet water? Let me know in the comments down below. Chow crown. <laughs> I have never seen this one in stores. Chow crown. Now I imagine this is for those kids and adults 
who are envious of the toddler who as they're eating their food off of their high chair, they're spreading their macaroni and cheese in their hair, you know, they're rubbing that rice in, they love having the food in their hair so it sticks up and it saves a little snack for later. Or maybe they enjoy watching, you know, the primates at the zoo pick the little nits out of the monkey's hair and they're envious that they too can't have food that is in their hair and on their head and as a snack for later. That's the only thing I can figure out. Once the music starts, the snacks will begin to spin. Try to eat the spinning food before the music stops. I kind of want to see somebody play this one because I'm picturing this crown and it's spinning around. People are like, ah, with their mouths trying to catch the food. I don't know what that's going to look like when I edit this later. I'm um, trying to catch the food in their mouth. So I kind of want to see this one played. It is kind of gross. I don't want to eat food out of people's hair that's been in their hair vicinity you know that's the last thing I want is hair in my food but I would like to watch somebody play it is that wrong all right the last game I have for you is called gooey Louie now this is for the kid that loves to eat their boogers that's the only thing I can think of you know it's a dry day and so they don't have any of their own boogers to eat and so they would like to play a game where they get to pull boogers out of their nose now they don't actually need to eat it because I'm pretty sure it would not be safe to eat, but at least they get the satisfaction of picking their own nose. All you booger pickers out here, this is the game for you. I don't think I've ever done a series like this on my channel talking about gross games, but it comes off to up a lot. If you didn't know, I have a 10 year old son. So weird, gross games come up quite frequently in our house. And I'm gonna have a video coming out soon that does include three gross games that we actually have at our house and actually play. So be on the lookout for that video and I'll actually play those three games with my son. Players stick a finger up Louie's nose and pull out a gooey. When they pick the wrong gooey, Louie's eyes pop, he flips his lid and his brains fly out. So just in case boogers weren't enough for you, you need a little extra ickiness, grossness, disgustingness, you got some brain that's gonna fly out because that's what happens kids when you pick your nose brain flies out. Let me know the grossest game you have ever played. Leave that in the comment section down below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!